Hey book lovers, Victoria here and you're watching My Books and Me. Today I am going to be reviewing the amazing book Is Not On Fire, The World of Dan and Phil by Dan Howell and Phil Lester. But before we begin, I think we need to do something to make this a little bit more serious. Right, now we're ready to go. So the title of this book seriously lives up to the name. It was amazing and the book was not on fire, which is a great relief. I have been watching Dan and Phil, or Dan is not on fire, an amazing Phil since about 2011-12 um, and I have absolutely loved all of their videos. They are seriously hilarious, they're quirky, they're geeky, they're totally random and I love them both. They make really good content that never fails to put a smile on my face. And also their collabs are always hilarious. I always love a good old Dan and Phil video. They are just so fun. And this book was just as amazing as their videos. It's filled with their humour, their geekiness, their randomness and it was a perfect book to pull me out of a reading slump. Now this book is an autobiography but it definitely gives a new meaning to what an autobiography is. From their lives before becoming crazy internet famous to how they became friends and roommates to how they um, started their channels getting a getting a show on BBC Radio 1 to meeting One Direction to going to Japan to going to Vegas this book has everything a fan could want plus it has tons of extra goodies and randomness in there there are how to draw the perfect cat whiskers um, a look at their Manchester and London apartments, roommate evaluations, um, finding out which dining chair are you, I'm the blue one by the way, um, tips and tricks on how to start a YouTube channel and how to you know, be somewhat successful at it and just some ideas for what sort of videos you can do. Then there's the second seven, seven second writing challenge, there is unseen photos, there is, there is, there's there's amazing stuff. Now I actually ended up listening to a majority of this book on audiobook because for the start of the book I was hearing their voices in my head as I was reading, which I think is perfect because it just goes to show that they literally write how they speak. So I ended up downloading the audiobook. I don't usually download audiobooks for like new release books. I go for more classics because they help me get through the book. But I made an exception here because the audiobook is actually read by them and it is just so fun and there are a lot of little bonus extra comments and stuff in there. It is so fun and I mean I would have got through the book probably at the same pace as listening to it but it was so fun to listen to it and just to hear them actually speak the words that they've written and talk about everything that they have you know written on the page just to have them talk about it and it was just such an immersing immersive experience and I really enjoy it and I highly recommend getting the audiobook and reading along. You can of course obviously just listen to the audiobook without reading along but I definitely feel like reading along is really great because the book is filled with heaps of drawings and photos and it's really fun to listen to them trying to describe what the, the photo is of so it's definitely helpful to read along so you can actually see all these drawings and illustrations and everything like that. I loved the layout of this book every page is different everything is an interesting layout um, there's awesome graphics on all of the pages and it is just seriously such a well set out book and it was just so fun. You could you can literally open up to any page and just read what that is about. You don't need to read it from start to finish. You can literally just read random passages because you know, you're not going to be confused about anything in here because you haven't read the page before it or anything like that. It's just really, really good. This book really helped pull me out of a reading slump. So well, in fact, that now I want to read all sorts of books, but I can't because I currently have to read books for university and I need to prioritize them. So it kind of sucks that I read it at this stage, but I'm really glad because it's just really gotten me into a reading mood. And I've actually also started, um, Crap. And I've actually also started re-watching Dan's videos from the very beginning. It is seriously cringeworthy, but it is so fun because you get to sort of, um, it's great that 
with them because now that Dan's revealed some trivia about some of his videos and his channel, it's really interesting to go back and watch those videos now that you do have that bit of an insider knowledge. It's a really great, fun and light read. I bought this. This book arrived on Friday and I finished it yesterday, which was Sunday. Um, so, you know, it's a very quick, fun, light read and it's great for behind the scenes stuff, photos, trivia points, you know, just random thoughts. It's just full of so much fun and enjoyment and geekiness and weirdness. It is amazing. No matter how big of a fan you are of Dan and Phil, you could just be a newbie to their channel and their channels and their world, or you could be a hardcore fan. You will enjoy this book. You don't have to have you don't have to have intimate knowledge about them because you get to learn so much about them in the book but it is just perfect for anyone. So make sure if you haven't already, go and buy this book and definitely give it a read, get the audiobook and just have fun. It's just such a fun book and I ended up giving it four and a half out of five stars. I really enjoyed it and I hope you guys um, give it a read because it's just, it's so fun and I love Dan and Phil so much. They are just so fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this inspired you to go out and get the book. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on this book if you've already read it or just generally what you think of Dan and Phil. No hate though, because that's that's not what I'm saying. Don't tell me if you hate them, just mm. And I will see you guys soon with another video. Bye.